Hello there, Capricorn. Welcome to your weekly tarot card prediction. This week is June 24th to the 30th, 2018. This is a general reading. Please only take what resonates with you. I can help you with your specific questions when you book a reading, following the links in the box below. If you'd like to win a free reading, press the notification bell and comment, and you will be automatically entered to win. Go ahead and keep commenting because every entry is a comment. I have blessed, shuffled, and meditated over this reading just for you, Capricorn. Your first card, that's the background. It's the general atmosphere. It's the basis of the matter. It's the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands. And you're holding your ground. And you're defending what matters. You face up to challenges. You have very strong determination and you're going to win the day. You do have the position of advantage. And you're holding off your competition or enemies. So take a stand. Because you'll be justified. It's, it's okay to hope with this one. Keep some perseverance. You can do it. Number two card, that's the immediate influence. It's occurring now, or it's crossing over your path. It's the two of the major arcana. In the Rider Waite deck, the High Priestess. Number two, the High Priestess. That's secret knowledge. It's something hidden that's preparing to come forth. You're supposed to pay attention to your dreams and intuition and a time to sit still and meditate over this. Someone is attempting to hide something that should be revealed. There's a very strong, wise female presence. You're supposed to tune into your inner voice and that spiritual awareness you have. There are some hidden influences. It's a divine truth and wisdom. It could be someone that's psychic. And there's one of my reference books, it's the Rider Waite deck, and it, the definition for this card in there is, it's the perfect woman that every man dreams about, or those could be the qualities of yourself, Capricorn. Your third card, and it's how it affects you. This is the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords. And in this matter, it's kind of causing you some anxiety. But this anxiety is unfounded. So you need to talk about your problems that you bury. Speak up to solve those problems. If you don't, you're going to have regrets and nightmares. And this suffering is in your mind. It's a worry thing. It's a mental torture. So what you have to do is make required changes for a better future. There might have been some ruined plans or some health worries. Those steps should be taken to solve the problem, and you are near the end of your mental ordeal. So stop ignoring your fears, because that brings insomnia. Your fourth card, it's the outcome, it's the results, the advice, and how to respond. It is the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles, that is the legacy card. It stands for family and home. It's solid and secure life. Sometimes it indicates marrying into money or receiving an inheritance, but it is a monetary gain and increased stability. You're going to be enjoying the fruits of your labor. It often stands for a house or a dwelling its security and material comfort, its wealth and social standing. It's the legacy and traditions card. Just think about how your elders would have solved the issue. There is a goal finally going to be realized and you could be attending a family function. Your fifth card, that's the bottom of the deck. It's the underlying issue. It's what's unseen and it's the justice card number 11 in the major arcana of the Rider Waite deck. Number 11, 
justice. That stands for balance. It's also the card of Libra. It's justice will be done and there may be some legal, legal matters or some lawsuits, but they will be won. You're striving for truth and balance and you're trusting divine order. So just be just. You know, it's that go around, it goes around, comes around thing. And your hard work really does matter. So you need to deliberate calmly and carefully before you take action. You need to use caution and be prudent and careful. Rely on your inner self because divine justice, when you get this card, it has your back and it cuts through illusions and picks out the facts. It is the ability to tell right from wrong and a reminder to keep your promises. That's the only thing you take with us to the other side is your word. I know my word is my bond. Thank you for watching Set Capricorn. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So keep it positive. Love and light. Thank you.